Good morning. This is Miss Norma. Once again, thank you and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, our reading for today, um, the 18th of April, is entitled Specifically, no, sorry, Specially Selected. Amen. I pray um, your night's rest has been refreshing and you've woken up this morning um, to fit for the day that's ahead of us. I'll leave it like that. Um, let us pray. Abba Father, please, Lord, let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you, Lord. Father, I pray for our family this morning, um, the gathering of your children together during this time, whenever they um, have uh, time to watch the video. And I ask, Lord, that a refreshing blessing would be released to each and every person that takes the time, Lord, to view this, Lord, and to share it, Father. So bless and heal our land. Be with our children in a very special way. Surround our homes, Lord, with angels and keep us safe, Father, from every hurt, harm, and danger. And Lord, where um, trouble may sneak in, or maybe it's not trouble, but maybe it's a time of testing, a challenge, or uh, growth in our lives, Lord, I ask for strength and fortitude. I ask that we would cry out to you for that, Lord, before we react within ourselves. So bless us and heal us and keep us, Lord. Be with those, Lord. This is the season of allergies and asthma and different things are going on. So I ask a special blessing, Lord, over those who are suffering physically, Lord, from the changes in the environment. Thank you, Lord, that um, it wasn't the, the nor'easter that was forecast for this region. Um, I haven't seen all the news yet, but um, thank you for... Uh, sparing um, us from worse weather and thank you Lord for the blessing that the water has brought um, and that it went to the places that it was needed in. Thank you Abba Father in Jesus name for you truly are the author and finisher of our faiths and Lord um, your word spoke and says peace be still when it came to the raging storm. So Father, this morning, I say peace be still to the raging storms this morning, whether they be physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, or in the atmosphere. Peace be still. Amen. Okay, our reading is specially selected, April the 18th. But you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. First Peter 2, 9. One day in October of 2019, I was feeling delighted and grateful. Once again, I was traveling to Florida to visit my first grandchild, Ava, who was now four months old. Since I arrived at the airport earlier than expected for my departing flight, I look forward to checking in and just relaxing in the lounge. I was next in line at the ticket counter, but the waiting seemed forever. Since I was traveling from Bermuda, I moved on quickly to United States Customs. As I approached the baggage drop-off, I heard an agent say to his colleague, this lady is specially selected. His fellow agent happily replied, oh good. Why is she so happy about that comment? I wondered. Immediately, I whispered a prayer, asking God to help me to keep calm. The agent explained that my bags had to be opened and checked because the computer had randomly selected my name. After reviewing my luggage, the attendant stated that all was fine. As I proceeded to the security checkpoint, the attendant scared my passport and confirmed I needed further scrutiny since I had been randomly selected for further screening. 
I'd already experienced random selection during my previous two departing flights. The attendant escorted me to the processing area where I surrendered to the system. But this time, I felt like a criminal. I questioned God. Why are these people picking on me? Can't they see that I am a good senior citizen? Please give me strength to remain calm. Fix my attitude of frustration. Several minutes later, the screening was over. I thank God that the process was completed and asked him to forgive me if I had displayed an unchristlike character during the process. This experience reminds me of Peter's statement that we are, quote, a royal priesthood, his own special people, unquote. 1 Peter 2, 9, New King James Version. Therefore, we must always be ready and willing to give account of ourselves to God at any time. Romans 14, verse 12. On my next travel engagement, by God's grace, I plan to be ready to undergo any screening process if I am specially selected. Our reading this morning was written by Lynette Wilson. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for allowing each one of us to be specially selected. Father, we were chosen by you to interact with you, to get to know you, to fall in love with you, Lord, to be your child. Lord, help us to remember that as we go through the processes of life, and there will be times, Lord, that we are specially selected for certain situations, Lord. I ask, O oh God, for the strength, for the fortitude, and for the graciousness, Lord, if that's what we need, Lord, to endure and to pass through. Lord, I pray for our children also this morning. Father, you know there's a burden on my heart for the children, Lord. Lord, children known to me and children unknown to me, Abba Father, help us to remember to circle them in love, wrap our arms around them, Lord, and throughout the course of the day, Father, Lord, remind us to have a pray without ceasing mindset for the children of the world, your children, our children, our friends' children, nieces and nephews, Lord, some by blood, and some by the blood of Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. Blessing and healing to all the land. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you too were blessed by this reading. Um, you know what I want. Say it with me. The song. Send the songs. Our list is growing. Um, there's different types of uh, Christian music on there. Um, feel free to... Um, listen and share it and enjoy. Be blessed. I think it's about 30 songs on there and the list keeps growing. I am enjoying placing your songs on there and um, I listened to it in the car the other day while I was driving and it was truly, truly a joy. So be blessed everyone and have a great day. This is Miss Norma signing off and by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Amen. Mwah.